Hey guys, welcome back. And today we're going to be looking at how my season with Huddersfield uh, is going. We are right at the last game of the season. A lot to tell. But before that, a couple of transfers that I made towards the end of the first transfer window and a couple that I made during the January transfer window. We brought in the likes of uh, Joe Gelhard from Leeds. Who Leeds terminated his contract in the game. I was able to nap on a free. We had uh, Owen Beck, who was also a free transfer. Get some cover on the left uh, left back for Gerald. Midway through the season, we signed uh, Danny Ings. You guys, some of you guys may remember him playing for Liverpool for a bit. Currently playing for West Ham, I believe. And last but not least, we signed uh, Stephen Welsh from Celtic to get some cover at the back. Even though we've got Josh Tobing, who has been developing really well. Moving on, this season has been a bit of a wild ride, to be honest. Simply because the expectations I've had were to get into playoffs. Early on in the season, I was actually moving away from the playoffs into the mid-table. So people weren't very happy. I've also got a squad, inherited a squad, who after getting relegated, all they want to do is leave. No offers have come in, so they've stayed. I've got an unhappy group of players who, who have given me not so much managerial support. They haven't been happy with my tactics. And that has been a constant uh, threat to my job. To the point when we played against MK Dons here, I had just gone on a run of, uh, you know, draw, win, draw and defeat. I was around 13th in the league. And management, the board came up and said, if I don't get a win here, I'll lose my job. Thankfully, I won. Subsequently, I drew to Paul Vale. I thought I was going to lose my job because the media had it in that a bad result would have let me lose the job. I then won 1-0 to Portsmouth. I thought things were going better. And all of a sudden, Charlton beat me 5-3. The players asked me to have a meeting saying that I am not the right person for the job. So I asked them for one more chance. As a result, I went on a three match win streak, although the first one was against Darlington in the FA Cup first round. And after losing to Stockport, it was all fine, but then I lost against Sheffield Wednesday. And again, the players asked me to have another meeting. I asked them one more time to just give me a chance. And I won 1 0, I won 4 3. So basically, if you were to look at the dynamics of the squad, I had a team of cohesion was fine. Club atmosphere was very good. However, managerial support was literally like, I think it was the word used there was abysmal. And ever since then, now, even though losing to Derby 5 2 was frowned upon by everybody, winning against Wigan in the second round, the replay after drawing 0 0, winning three games on the trot, that, that's kind of helped me cement my place in the playoff area. But now I was starting to look at the potential of possibly not just staying in the playoffs, but getting the automatic promotion. You'll see now in the league table, Derby is way ahead, right? So we'll go now to the table. So you guys can see it there. So yeah, Derby have been crowned champions. I am confirmed to be in the promotion, right? We are down to the last game of the season. And if we win, we are guaranteed automatic promotion to the championship. However, if we draw, we depend on Oxford not winning to get the automatic promotion. What will happen? Don't know. Let's find out. Come on, Huddersfield, you've got this. Make the team proud. Make the fans proud. Blazing into rounds. Good spell of possession. Great tackle from Thomas. Couldn't quite get the ball though. Rouse on the ball. Looking for NG. Oh, and Fletcher. What a goal. Jesus. The blind move by Cardiff, to be honest. <laughs> so far, it looks like it's uh, Cardiff playing football. And Cardiff hits the post. Jesus. Okay, a little spell of possession. 
Quite a long ball. Oh my god, what a mistake. Can Della finish? No! Jimenez makes a save. That should have been one all. Clark gives it to Rank. Can he find a pass somewhere? Yep, onto Pearson. Gives it to Clark. Clark crosses it into Johnson, to Fiorini, and it's a penalty! Who is going to take the penalty? The lab to take it. Can we make it one all? Come on. Yes! Get in. One all. It's his 22nd goal of the season. Johnston on the free kick. On to Taylor. Who shoots? And it's saved by Jimenez. Okay, so so far it's been an interesting first half. DeVito, Frank, Pearson. The whole team is getting a touch of the ball here. Thomas loses the ball. Back to Rank. Can he cross it in? Can he find a cross? No, he finds Clark, who dribbles in, gives it to Thomas, and makes it 2 1. Yes! Minute 48. Let's go. 10th goal of the season. What a play by Clark, who just dribbles inside here. Is uncontested. Finds the pass to Thomas, and what a finish. That is good. That is good. That's what I like to hear. Look at the crowd, the crowd's going wild. Do I smell promotion? <laughs> and Oxford are currently winning, so we have no choice but to win. And Fletcher almost makes it 2 2. The veto clears it only into party possession again, and Parrot is on the ball again. What's that play? Just letting go past. And what a goal from Parrot! Oh my day! Wow! Oof. So we're in the corner, minute seven of at a time. Gerald on the ball. Branched. Oh, safe by Jimenez. We are dying to try and get this. If not, we're losing. We are going to go into playoffs. Can we get a chance? Nope. Time is flying. From possession, though. But it's going to be. Yep. Jimenez has the ball, and the match has ended. <laughs> So we have uh, drawn, and unless Oxford have drawn as well, I believe Oxford probably won. So. And they did. So they got automatic promotion, and we're into the playoffs, I'm afraid. Oh, I can't believe I consider that an extra time. Right, so after that unfortunate uh, draw, resulted in us not getting automatically promoted we moved on to the playoffs where we played Wigan we beat them over two legs 5-2 on aggregate and now we are playing our playoff final versus Blackpool so let's see how it goes come on Huddersfield on to the championship we go Corner by Thomas. Can we make something of it? And Johnston? Dellab finds the net. He runs over to the Huddersfield Town fans in celebration. Yes! And the crowd goes wild. This is where I might want to call on uh, Danny Ng's experience. Have we got Blackpool on the corner? Trying to find a shot. Oh, and Moreira hits the crossbar. That would have been the goal of the game, I'm sure. We got Blackpool on the ball. Labory. Oh, that was antagonizingly close. We got Blackpool on the ball. Fiorini takes control of it. Going down the wing. That's a long ball to Taylor. And the keeper can only parry it out. Thomas on the corner. And we make something of it. <clears throat> oh, and it's Pearson! Is it offside? No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's getting checked. Checking goal review. Goal has been awarded, I guess. Get in. 2-0. It looks like we're getting promoted. Let's see. Blow the whistle, ref. 
Yes! Get in! We are through to the championship. So we've done it. We have made it. We are on to the championship. Talk about uh, bouncing back in one season. And they already wanted me to get the playoffs. Come on. They should have had more belief in me. But now, having qualified for the championship, the question is, who can I bring in to improve the squad? Will I be able to survive relegation? Should I, in theory, be expected to compete in the mid-level table? I'm not quite sure. But at the moment, I seem to be the fan favourites. <laughs> they doubted me.